we were doing our, our, our interviews with him and stuff, um, one of the one of the people that used to be part of Dead Zone kept calling calling him wrong the wrong name and oh, stuff. Yeah. I mean these guys <laughs> kept, yeah, she kept these calling guys had, uh, she kept calling she kept calling Chris Scott. Scott, yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. It was because uh, we had Chris and Mike. Chris and Mike were there. <laughs> right. And um when they answered when they introduced themselves, I was like, I'm sorry, who are you guys? <laughs> and they were like they were just kind of dumbfounded. I was like, man, I'm just kidding with you guys. But um <laughs> so she kept calling him the wrong name. And we we did a like a whole segment where they answered to the wrong name, and yep. we all thought it was hilarious. It was it yeah, was a good, good time. time. Yeah. But like they I said, when it, when I got down to the, when I got down to business, the, the, these guys put their game face on, and they took these different groups through, and gave them a serious um, investigation. And yeah. you know, like you said, their their show's great, and they they know what they're doing. They're a good team. They are a good team. And they are actually uh, surprising because they don't. People that talk like us don't always get serious treatment, right? Right. So, right. Yeah. They have experienced that. Yeah. And I don't know what it took, but at some point there was a switch that happened and people started taking them more seriously. I think it's because right. the results are fantastic. Yeah, right. they get sure. they get good information. They capture good evidence. Brandon is always creating different and new things. He is such a good thinker sure. and planner. Sure. So, you know, overall, they're really well balanced, and mm. I like them. I like them too. Yeah, they're great guys. Oh, absolutely. I'm I'm excited to hook back up with them. Um, you know, and it, we found that um, through the years of doing all this, and m- much like you'll you'll agree to this, the the ones that take what we do seriously and just aren't trying to get a public face, and they're actually trying to help people and try to understand oh, better for themselves. Just, just say it like we say it on the show, dude. The ones that aren't in it for the money. Yes. That's all. Yeah, fame, you know? I was da- I was dancing around that. The ones that aren't in it for the money, they're the ones that stick around. They're the ones yeah. that we see time and time again. And like like we've talked before, Kat, we recognize that within our within the paranormal community, mm-hmm. each person does. Mm-hmm. And you know, we we saw that with those guys for sure. Well, they have a real love for it. I mean. Chris has been doing, well, Chris and Doogie have been doing it forever. And right. uh, Chris is actually the founder, right? Or Chris one of the is founders. the founder. Chris was on Ghost Hunters um, Academy and actually walked right. away because he wanted okay. to do it his way. And, right. you know, because he was invited back, but he just chose to go his own road. And I right. think that was a wise decision because. He does do things his yeah. way. I think, I think Nick Groff can uh, expand on that a bit. Uh, situation yes. himself. I'm sorry. I, I yeah. think he can too. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah, I know he can. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just have to know that the way that you want to do it is what's right for you. Right. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah. We've we've talked about it within our within our own team. Um, we've had a couple of opportunities come up that. We have um, started to pursue or decided not to pursue based on our moral decision as a team. Yes. And right. whether, whether we want to, you know, if what, how the things are going is what we want to get into. And, you know, it, it, what it breaks down to for us is um, we do what we do for our personal experiences to enjoy ourselves as a team and to, to get a chance to see some of the, um, the bigger places like the Waverly Hills and the Ashmore States and all those kind of places. Oh um, yeah. That, that, and, I don't want to, I don't mean to interrupt you, but that, yeah, not yourself, just, just the opportunity to get to go to some of these, these historical buildings and, yes. and get to wander around and, 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 and just look at them. I mean, that's, that in itself is, is, is great. Yeah, you know? absolutely. 
So, you know, we, we've decided as a team that um, we're not going to, um, for lack of a better term, we're not going to sell out. Right. And we're going we're right. to do things the way we do it as a team, and that's, that's the way it's going to happen. So right. and I love that. And, you know, that, that uh, it comes full circle to back what you we just talking about just a minute ago about um, uh, being a well-rounded team, you know. Um, we all have different opinions on um, – what we're experiencing and what we have going on, but we all come to the conclusion that um, we're not going to misrepresent what we're doing. No. Period. Not at all. Nope. Never will. Well, it doesn't <laughs> gain you anything. No. I mean, no, 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 it, it hurts your reputation. Yes. First of all, right off the bat. I mean, no, no one's going to take you serious. They're, you know, if someone really actually is in need of help, whether it's real or imagined, they're not going to take you serious. You know? No, they're not. And, you know, yeah. doing what y'all do and doing what I do, we have come across people who are not what they seem. And, yeah, hundreds. <laughs> oh, yeah, right? absolutely. And fortunately, I had the gift of discernment, but it's with spirits. Right. Unfortunately, <laughs> I sometimes get snowed by humans, living humans. Right. And that's yeah. happened a time or two. And I, yeah. I never go back. Yeah, you know, I've conversed with you about someone that did that to me. But I don't publicly sure. go out and say, this is da-da-da-da-da. You know, I'm not right. going to. Yeah, I'm not, not going to yeah, name no, and shame unless not, there's somebody being harmed. Right. Absolutely. Right. And, you know, we've, but we've, the word we've does taken, get out. Right. We've taken the same road. I mean, we don't, with our show, I mean, the, the people that listen, they know we don't, we don't sit on our show. We don't bad mouth and bash mm -hmm. anybody or anything like that. What they do is what they yeah. do. What we do is what we do. Mm -hmm. And luckily for us, we have Michelle who, um, Tells who us to shut up. is able to keep us? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> helps us to shut up. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That too is a gift. So I, I, you know, I, I, you know, I keep, uh, I keep joking about that. But all jokes aside, Michelle is an incredible investigator, and I'm, I'm very fortunate to be able to investigate with the both of them. You really are. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, Lee, I just kind of threw you in there because like I felt that. like I had to. Yeah, I know, I know, <laughs> I know. I'm not dumb. <laughs> Well, you know, I am, I am just so thrilled because I respect y'all so much. Well, yeah. I appreciate Thank that. You. I respect, I respect you. your work. Yeah. And absolutely, we know each other, you know, no more than we've met. It's really weird how that bond formed. And I know. I, I think oh, it's yeah. a good thing. So, yeah. absolutely, oh, for sure. Well, what? And we need to. We need to. Uh, we need to seriously. Uh, think about our schedules yes. and maybe we can work something out so where we can actually do something together. Well, I am I'd always game for that. And I will get with you on some things that I've already booked for this, for this season and see if y'all okay. are going to be attending those. And if we wind up at the okay. same con, we can definitely do things. I somehow Absolutely. wound up coming very close to Terre Haute. It, it is really? Terre Haute, right? Um, Last yeah, summer, but it was a late Thank Sunday you. afternoon, and I figured y'all would be involved with family things, so I hmm. didn't make the phone call. Um, huh. Was it the well, uh, was the weekend when you were in when you were at Ashmore? It was. Okay, yeah, we huh. were the same weekend you were at Ashmore. We were actually at Randolph County. We weren't oh, even okay. in town. Oh, yep, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we were. You're right. So I would have <laughs> missed you anyway. Right. But, yeah. But the next time I'm anywhere in that area, I'm just going to find you. So Sure. But awesome. Give us a heads up. Forewarned, right? Well, I think <laughs> yeah. that we are going to go and take another little break. I'm trying to keep the schedule rolling here, putting our, my nose to the grindstone. But when <laughs> we come back, I want to hear more about some of the experiences that y'all have had as a team. And okay. what on earth made both of you guys decide that this was what you thought would be a good thing to do? 
because it's not for everyone, but it is an awful lot of fun when you're doing it right. I can tell you, I can tell you what sparked, I think, I'm just going to say it's for both of us, I think because Dustin and I both for years worked in haunted houses and just love I did. It's scaring people. Yes, you know? I did that. I worked as a monster. I, there you go. I think that has a lot to do with it. I mean, we, it, it's, it's a natural. I, pr- from day one, growing up with my grandparents, I, I watched horror movies with them, you know, the old Hammer films and all that kind of thing. Love that stuff. Lately, from then on, and, from then on, and uh, <laughs> we started Lee, working the haunts together. Lee? I'm sorry. She was, was trying to, <laughs> she was trying to get you. I was saying we're going to come back from our break. Oh, okay. okay. And get into all this good <laughs> stuff. So just okay. bear with us, and we will be back, folks. Thanks for y'all being all here. Right. We appreciate it. You are listening to WBHM, digital broadcasting, the best in paranormal talk only on Paranormal Experience Radio. Broadcasting live, live, live out of Birmingham, Alabama. Son of a... Hey, son. Mother... (laughs) Uh, son, what are you doing? Hey, Mom. I'm getting ready to listen to Periscope Uncensored. By expanding your vocabulary. Well, it is uncensored. Son, the uncensored part of Periscope Uncensored is Jax and I getting down to brass tacks with all aspects of the paranormal. There's no fluff on our show. So, no off-color commentary? (laughs) I didn't say that. Awesome! Son? Uh, I just hit my head. Oh boy, I'll go get you an ice pack. Catch Periscope Uncensored Thursday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern, only on WBHM Digital Broadcasting. 